I hate when the answer choices are this long. Let's let's see. Maybe it's not that bad. One recognized social norm of gift giving is that the time spent obtaining a gift will be viewed as a reflection of the gift's thoughtfulness. Marketing experts, whatever, addressed this view in their studies of norms specifically surrounding the giving of gift cards, noting that while recipients tend to view digital gift cards, which can be purchased online from anywhere and often can be redeemed online as well, as superior to give physical gift cards, which sometimes must be purchased in person and may only be redeemable in person, in terms of usage, 94.8% of participants surveyed indicated that it is more socially acceptable to give a physical gift card to a recipient. Okay, so they, they deliberately tried to obscure this, right? So let, let's focus on that. Um, where the heck did this sentence begin? Uh, while recipients tend to view digital gift cards uh, as superior... So there's my, that's not true, right? They're, they're, the while is telling me that that part's not true, but will or, or is not important, I guess, right? Because uh, now we're going to go to the, uh, well, that's in terms of usage. Now we get to the main thing here, which is at the end. 94.8% of participants surveyed indicate that it is more socially acceptable to give a physical gift card to a recipient. So that part is probably what my dumb summary is going to be. This finding that, this suggests that physical better um, however, I'm wondering if they're going to work that usage thing in that maybe like people don't know what they're talking about is kind of what it is. Let, let's see. Let's look at the choices. Um, okay. This finding suggests that gift givers likely overestimate the amount of effort, effort required to use digital gift cards and thus mistakenly assume gift recipients will view them as less desirable than physical gift cards. I don't know what, I don't, I don't. Who, who effort effort to use them? I don't. Who does that matter? Uh, mistakenly assume gift recipients will view them as less desirable. I don't know. I, I don't know what they'll view. This seems odd. I don't want to get in their heads. I, maybe they, I need to, but that, that seems odd. I don't. I don't know what they're thinking as they're buying it. I guess they. The only thing I know actually is that they think it is more socially acceptable to give a physical gift card. So. Uh, so I, I guess, I don't know, maybe. Let's just look at B. Physical gift cards are likely preferred by gift recipients. Ooh, I don't know what they prefer. Because the tangible nature of those cards offers a greater the psychological sense of ownership than digital gift cards do. I, I don't care about the recipients, right? This is about the gift givers, uh, I believe. Uh, the giving, right? It's specifically about the giving of gift cards. So I don't know what recipients think. So I think that's just wrong. Physical gift cards are likely less desirable to gift recipients than digital gift cards are because of the perception that physical gift cards require unnecessary effort to, again, they're bringing effort in. I don't know about the effort, but again, this is about the recipients. Don't I care about the givers? Let's look at D. Gift givers, ah, that's better, likely perceive digital gift cards as requiring relatively low effort to obtain, what well, is the effort idea again, uh, and thus wrongly assume gift recipients will appreciate them less than they do physical gift cards. So first of all, it's about the givers. So hands down, I'm, I'm convinced B and C are wrong just because they are about what the recipients think. But this study is clearly about the givers. So they both talk about effort. So let's, let's kind of look at D and uh, A again. Gift givers likely perceive digital gift cards as requiring relatively low effort to obtain and thus wrongly assume gift recipients will appreciate them less than they do physical gift cards, right? Because when we talk about what's more socially acceptable, uh, the participants, notice they didn't say givers here, Right. So they're talking about they're talking about the givers, though. That's what the giver thinks. The giver thinks it is more socially acceptable to give a physical one. So why would they think that? Maybe because of the low effort. I don't know. I don't I don't really uh, I don't really think they talk about that. Um, oh, here they do talk about it at the beginning. One recognized social norm of gift giving is that the time spent obtaining a gift will be viewed as a reflection of the gift's thoughtfulness. So that's effort. Yeah, so if it's requiring low effort to get a digital gift card, then yeah, sure, maybe they wrongly assume gift recipients will appreciate them less, and so they don't give them as much as they give physical gift cards, but the usage statistics say otherwise. So I don't know, this seems okay. Let's look at A again. Gift givers likely overestimate the amount of effort required to use digital gift cards, and thus mistakenly assume gift recipients will view them as less desirable. I just, I have trouble with this part. Like, they they will overestimate the amount, uh, no, because isn't the usage statistic? What are they saying here? Uh, um, a superior, okay. Oh my God. Well, this is so hard to find what I'm looking for. Um, right. So 
Uh, while noting recipients tend to view digital gift cards uh, as superior. So the reci- we do have the recipients in here. The recipients do think they're superior, but we're talking about the, the, the butt part here. The butt was talking about the givers. So I'm interested in the givers. Um, to physical gift cards. Yeah, so gift givers likely perceive digital gift card. Or sorry, I'm going back to A. Gift givers likely overestimate the amount of effort required to use. It's not about the usage of it, right? So it's about the obtaining it. So I don't, I don't think it has anything to do with the usage, right? I'm not thinking about the effort that the person I'm giving the gift card to will have to expend in order to use it. The, the, they're talking specifically about the effort required to obtain the gift card. That's at least the first sentence. So that's going to be closer to D. But this is a great example of like the filtering right filter out two choices that don't work and then when you're down to two that kind of seem related find a wedge find something that's different right this is the effort to use the gift card this is the effort to obtain the gift card go back to the passage look for that thing my hardest the hardest thing for me is that these stupid parenthetical statements in here are so long that i can't find anything without kind of stumbling into those those parentheses and they don't really matter i I know what a digital gift card is i don't need like to be explained to me so you know they're just doing that not because they think you don't know they're doing it because they want to distract you right um so yeah good question i do think this is hard only because there's so much to filter through uh but uh otherwise the answer is pretty clear once i've done all that work but it's just tedious work. And sometimes, you know, when you're running out of time on the section, you don't want to spend four minutes on a question. And so my advice is base your answer, base what you decide to focus on, on the answer choices. The longer the choices, you know, the scarier it is. Longer passage, not so bad. Uh, longer choices uh, makes it a little bit more tedious.